Okay, so hopefully you guys have had the opportunity over the last few days to have meaningful, honest, and hard discussions about race, racism, social injustices, racial profiling, or whichever way the conversation took you. Hopefully these were meaningful conversations because they were controlled by you guys and your experiences and your opinions. So the objective today is to create an original piece of writing that personally expresses and encourages social change. Because why do we have those conversations that you guys had in your classroom? We talk so we're aware. We're aware so we can be honest. We're honest so we can make change. It's always the goal to improve ourselves, our community, and our society. So your goal today is to create that personal um, and expressive piece of work. I'm going to show you guys how to do this through poetry and songwriting. You can also write a personal narrative. You could do a speech. Um, there are lots of other ways you could do this. But I personally feel that uh, music is very expressive and it's a great way to connect to your audience because we all feel connections to music regardless of the genre. And that's really the goal. If you can get your audience to feel some sort of way, then you can get them to join your cause. So I'm going to bring you back to Flocabulary, the app that we worked with in the last demo video. I showed you the video, which was uh, a rap, raps from different young adults and their perspectives and experiences with race. Um, but we're going to come down to the Lyric Lab. Now, the Lyric Lab is a built in tool in this app where you can write rap lines, a poem, but it gives you tips and, and, and suggestions and steps to kind of encourage your, uh, encourage your flow, encourage your um, expression. So the first thing you can do is you can come down here and you can choose a beat. So there's a lot of different um, beats that you can go with depending on the mood that you're trying to encourage in your poem. So you can see I'm just trying to decide what's most appropriate for the mood and tone that I'm trying to convey in my poem. And then you come up here and you write your first line. Okay, well, if you look over here, these are the vocab words that were seen in the video that you studied in the cards. Um, and, and they're just thematic words and topics that relate to what we're doing. So the goal is to try to use as many of those as possible. So I'm just gonna write my first stanza. Now, right here, it says show steps. Well, how do I start? Okay, pick one of our rhyming words or come up with your own. Write another line that ends with this word. Okay, so I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start with the first thing that comes to my mind. Um, well, when I was a kid, I never really thought about race. I never thought of it as an issue. I grew up in a mostly white neighborhood. I had I had friends of color, but I never really thought of race as an issue because I was always told that we treat everybody equal. So I just I just didn't think of it. So I never really thought of race as being a big deal. You can see that now that I've included race, it's highlighted over here because I've used one of my vocab words. Okay, so now it says pick one of our rhyming words. I'm gonna go to the next line. So the last word is deal. So I go to my next line and it says pick rhyming words. Now it gives me a bunch of words that would rhyme with deal. So I'm gonna continue on my train of thought, but now I'm gonna try to pick one of these words to end my next line with. Never really thought about what my perspective Reveal. So I use perspective, which is another vocab word, and reveal rhymes with deal. All right, write, and now step three, write another short line about perspectives on race. 
It doesn't have to rhyme with your last two lines. Try to use one of the vocab words on the right. I had love for everyone, so I thought I thought I was all good. Mm. Okay, so I didn't use a vocabulary word, which is okay. But step four is saying, now pick one of our rhyming words again. So I'm going to try to rhyme with good. And because I didn't use a vocab word in this line, I'm going to try to make sure I do both. I'm going to try to use a vocab word and I'm going to try to rhyme here. My creed wasn't wrong, just uninformed. My childhood rhymes with good, childhood. And I got my vocabulary word creed. I got to finish this line though. My creed wasn't wrong, just uninformed on how my childhood was blind to the oppression of people of color. Okay, so I have my first stanza. I never really thought of race being a big deal. I never really thought about what my perspective would reveal. I had love for everyone, so I thought I was all good. My creed wasn't wrong, just uninformed on how my childhood was blind to the oppression of people of color. Okay. So I'm going to save you my rapping skills, but what you can do to see if your stanza sounds the way you want it to, expresses it the way you, the concept you want it to express, come down here, start your music over. And with the beats, say your rap, say if it, hear it, feel it. Adapt and fix it. This is a form of expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the final version. And again, I'm going to save you rapping the whole thing, but wait for the beat. I never really thought of race being a big deal. I never really thought about what my perspective was. See, now I can tell the music is not going to be back to my music. I am going to work. do now that you've probably laughed at my wrapping capabilities is I want to show you the final product because when you have finished your poem you can export it using this button right here and here's my final product so I'm going to read to you my poem this is my personal experience on race and racism this is my expression and nobody else's I never really thought about thought of race as being a big deal. I never really thought about what my perspective would reveal. I had love for everyone, so I thought I was all good. My creed wasn't wrong, just uninformed on how my childhood was blind to the oppression of people of color. Life's been tough. I've been kicked down. I have failed. But I have one thing that many don't have, privilege of waking up and not having to think about my race and my image, my label, my color, my safety. I had to evaluate my perspective and what I thought I knew what others are living with and what they are going through. Contracts must be broken and systems rebuilt. I will be a part of the dissembling of systematic racism, will you? So this is a great tool for you to use. Once you export it here, it will download to your computer. 
You can share that with your teachers through email or through a link, um, follow their instructions on how they want you to um, submit the work. Teachers, you can also assign the work here and then provide the students with a link and I will show you how to do that. Um, I really hope you use this tool as a form of expression. Uh, it's, it's a little bit different. It's you know not your typical graphic organizer, but I think it brings in the creativity aspect. And I think that this is much more personal. And I really hope that you share these with your teachers and I hope they share them with me.